man is alive and well in America today. They may still be around, but KKK rallies are not what they used to be. That's not to say they're not dangerous and vent the same hate. We hate the Jew, and if you support them or sympathize with them, well then we hate you too. And of late, white supremacists have shown they can still terrorize. What happened to Mindy Corcoran's family is proof of that. She turned up at a horrifying scene outside the local Jewish center. And I said, that's my father who's lying there dead, and that is my son. What happened? And when I looked at the doors now of the Jewish Community Center, there were bullet holes, and it hit me that they'd been shot. Both Mindy's father, William, and her 14-year-old son, Reet, were killed that day. They weren't Jewish, but were attending a talent show at the center, though there's no doubt the gunman was motivated by hate. Police say a man armed with at least one shotgun was shooting... On his arrest at the site, Fraser Glenn Miller screamed Nazi slogans. He'd never hidden his views before. At one point, he'd been a so-called Grand Dragon in the Ku Klux Klan. One God, one race, one nation, so help us God Almighty, white power! But police say until the shooting, he'd not done anything to warrant arrest and had a right to express himself. There are thought to be over 650 different white supremacist organizations in the US. To some extent, civil liberties groups protect their right to exist. Well, as you drive into the town of Harrison in Arkansas, this is the huge sign that you see by the roadside put up by white supremacists. But the sheriff here says he can't do anything about it because of the right to freedom of speech and expression. In the town, I met one of the men really helping shape supremacist thinking in the US. He told me those of us who weren't white were little more than animals. And I asked him about the recent anti-Semitic attack in nearby Kansas. Even though I teach that ultimately the people that we call Jews today are the terrors that will be taken out, it's the angel's job, not, not our jobs. I see them as here to be adversaries of our race to test us, to prove us. But the views you've just talked about are exactly what the shooter talked about. Well, that's because it's, it's true, and some people realize it. In America, inciting racial hatred is not a crime. In fact, the KKK is offered protection by the law. But however small the numbers these days, angry rhetoric turning to violence is a problem this country is still having to deal with. Aline McBool, BBC News, in Northern Arkansas.